Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. We sincerely hope that you are having a wonderful day. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, What are Polydactyl Cats? In the feline world, extra digits, toes to be specific, will place you in a rather cool and unique class. The class of the mitten cats. Felines that have more toes than normal on at least one paw. These are known as polydactyl cats. Classified as a birth abnormality caused by a genetic mutation, polydactylism typically promotes the extra growth of toes on the front paws, with toe development on the hind paws still being possible, but not as prevalent. It is extremely rare that cats have extra toes on all four paws. So, what's the normal number of toes, you ask? Well, the common number is 18. Five toes on each front paw and four on each rear paw. And of course, because this is a genetic mutation, at least one parent has to carry the dominant gene. If both parents carry the gene, this will obviously increase the odds of having polydectal kittens. In terms of additional toes, the numbers can be quite different, and while extra toes most commonly appear on the front paws, as we mentioned, a polydactyl kitten won't always have the same number of extra toes as its parents. As for the whole mitten nickname, most felines with this defect have extra toes, one or two, on the side of the paw, essentially where a thumb would appear on a human hand. This gives the entire paw, especially when the cat is standing or the paw is a bit stretched out, a mitten or glove appearance. In terms of general health and wellness, more or less, it's all cosmetic. Although that's not to say that claw issues can't and won't occur, polydactylism is not an illness or disease, it's just, well, extra toes. And while the origins of polydactyl cats can potentially be traced to the Maine Coon, polydactylism can occur in any breed. And before we close things out today, hey, I'm a big sports fan, so polydactyl cats to me are just mini baseball players. <laughs> At least in my book, hey, infielders, second base, nothing like a good shortstop. Good at stopping those hard-hit ground balls, perfect for turning a double play when the game is on the line, Game 7 of the World Series. So, in honor of baseball, my nickname for these cool felines, let's go with about Gold Glove cats. And speaking of golden, it's now my honor to turn things over to the championship audience of Senior Cat Wellness. Do you own a polydactyl cat? If not, have you ever seen one in person? If you have some cool stories and experiences to share on this subject, I'd love to read all about them. The comments section is all yours. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching. Shout out to all those gold glove cats of the world, and we'll talk to you later.